What's up everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 7 And we are going straight off from the last episode into this one And I do indeed believe this will be the last video of this series So, without further ado, let's get right to it And yes, I know I didn't, I didn't take any of my stuff It's because there's usually loot around this area and I want to get all the loot I want to get all the loot. And then also, I want to be able to leave fully prepared. But then again, to be honest, I'm not going to even be using the shotguns and all that shit. So it doesn't matter. I might as well go prepared now. I have a feeling I'm going to re regret it. I'm gonna, I, 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 I have a feeling I'm going to have to come back to it regardless. So, But whatever. Let's 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 get what I need. I don't need this. Um, I need that. Um, I'm going to come go ready. Um, good ammo. Strong first aid. Let's go get that. This with the herb again. Enhanced machine. M21. Shotgun shells. Iron of defense. Let's organize this real quick. Shotgun. That's already right way. I did I grab that? I didn't mean to grab that. If I did. Um, where's my, right there, Albert, shotgun, you're gonna be right here, right here, yeah, let's see, well, actually, no, right there, there you go, these little, these bottom two rows are, like, just my areas, this is gonna be my ammo, boom, only reason I have that is because I'm going to be using, for that, so that frees that up, burner separating, burner cam, Happy birthday. I don't, I'm not going to need any of this shit. If I haven't used it now, then I'm not going to use it at all. Um, yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to... I'm most likely not going to use a single weapon either way. But it's just in case, you know. Last resort, I need to. Because I don't know what's coming next now. I know what's coming next, but because it's, it's Madhouse mode, the enemies either are going to be different or just a lot harder. And I'd rather be prepared. Also, I didn't even save. I just realized I didn't even save. Oh, I would have fucked myself so hard just now. I have 12 extra cassette tapes, bro. That shows how much I don't save in this game. I don't need the bombs. I'll take the bombs. Don't think I'm going to need them. Look, I, I now have a whole fucking inventory, and I don't think I'm going to need any of it, to be honest. But you never know. guys let's finish this if anything especially since I only have the one fucking slot I'll just be careful with what I take with like with what I pick up I have the glasses right yeah so I can see everything um I'll, I'll be very sparing with the things I get oh it's the same monsters okay bet Did it keep hitting swinging? Why are you swinging? I was trying to fucking aim with the saw. I kept swinging the damn saw. That's a good thing I saved. That would have been a lot of progress that I lost, and I would have been very pissed. And here we go. My girl texted me. Okay. 
confused. Why, why wasn't it uh, like that last time? Look at that, look at that, look how easy this is. Anybody else? No? Because you're dead? Huh. Oh no, there's one more. There we go. Look at that. Herbs, I don't need it. I really don't. I'm good. Look, you see how hard was that, dog? How hard was that? I could just kill like nine enemies. Seven enemies, however many enemies. With one item. And I didn't get hit once. Cause I'm a god. I'm the best. Ooh, around. I look I like how I was saying that there's gonna be a bunch of resources to collect, but I keep forgetting this is Madhouse mode and there was literally just one thing. And it was an herb. I mean, if anything, I could just grab it and heal myself, but I don't even think I'm wounded. So there's really no point. But you're the best around. Sorry, Herb. For just this one moment I can't I can't forgive me for not picking up everything. Oh, it's kind of dark. Yeah, there's lights on? Bro, I didn't think there'd be any lights on. It was, it was that dark. Let's go. Actually, let me not use that, just in case it's like a regular guy. Well, actually, to be fair, the only reason I would use this is because it's a big guy, so... There you go. Did I miss anything? Wait, real quick. Did, I, I didn't look around. Uh, no, I did not. No, we're good, we're good. You are the best around. What up, you motherfucker? I feel like there's one behind me. No, there's not. Okay, okay. I cursed when I heard double sounds, but... It, it was room. Shotgun shells. Yes, that I'll take. Nothing else over here. What is this? Enhance? Hell yeah, baby! Are oh, they not gonna spawn? They're not gonna spawn. Because they're assholes. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, you see, now you spawn, you little shit fucks. Let's go. You're the best. Oh, yeah. Only reason I'm so armored up to the teeth is for the an area later on. Not necessarily this area, but an area later on that I'm I'm not gonna enjoy. What is this? Handgun ammo? No, I'm good on that. I, I would have too much of that at this point. This is a bit like a 44 mag or something. Oh, what solid fuel? Get that shit out of my face. Where's my hand? Where's my other hand? Oh, why is it over there? I don't know. It's you were not just there a second ago. I heard. I knew it. Fuck. I swear. I knew it. Ho. Ho. Well, I thought you were dead, and then you came out of nowhere, you fucking assholes. What am I at? Yeah, that's what I thought. I might as well. Here we go. Where's my hand? Is that? There you go, that's where I should be. More or less. You're the best. If I had more ammo, I would just, like, just kill them all with a shotgun as I walk through them. Like, that's, us that's usually how you do it, but... That's a crawler. 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 Yep. 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 Oh fuck. I'm screwed. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Oh, it wasn't a crawler. Okay. I just got scared. I killed the other guy though. I saw him. I killed you. Look at his corpse. <laughs> yeah, bitch. You suck. Any reason going down here? Nope, it would have already shown. Anything over here? No. Je ne sais quoi. Hello. Darkness, my old friend. Enhanced? Yo, hell yes. You gave me enhanced ammo? Fuck yeah. Gotcha. 
Oh, wait, actually. I almost forgot until I shot the guy and then I remembered. Yep, knew it. There's literally practically always an item in one of those things. So if there's not an item, then there you go. All right, this is the the lore, so I'm definitely going to read everything. Uh, Friday, January 16th, 2015. There is a lot, so if you don't like lore, just skip ahead a couple minutes because there's multiple computers, and each one has at least like four pages. So yeah. Thanks to you guys, it's been about a week since my head's been clear and back to normal, and she still thinks she's got me. You guys really need to work on fixing that. Not only does she look like a little kid, but she's about as stupid as one, too. Mom and Dad are still totally under, th under though. I was wondering, is this... Wait, I was wondering. Is this whole family obsession something you guys programmed into her? It's kind of fucked up. That bitch Mia is still somewhere in between Evie La La Land and reality. She gets pretty violent, so I locked her up in a cell. I thought maybe... Wait, so I thought her... Everyone would get mad says Mia's her favorite and all, but she doesn't seem to care. She actually goes and visits and stuff. She thinks Mia's her mommy. Like I said, your bio weapon is fucked up. Wait, so... It never connected. Who is writing this? I didn't do all the DLC, so if it says in the DLC, then that's, that's probably why. But, who's right? Another tool? Oh, I'm pissed. Either way. Everyone's fa Emily's family obsession is getting out of hand. She's making everyone kidnap more and more assholes off the streets to add to her freak show of a family. Maybe she's getting tired of me and not coming around, but it's a pain in the ass for me because I gotta clean up the mess whenever she someone new comes along. By the way, Evie's looking sick or something. Her skin is getting all wrinkly and she's getting gray hairs. Is that supposed to happen? It's almost like she's getting old all of a sudden. Yeah. I wonder why. I don't, I don't need to come about her. Brother, I'm, I'm so pissed right now. I don't need herbs. I will use steroids. I'm gonna hold on to it just for the moment. Oh. Yo, where the fuck am I? There you go. Okay, what is this? Uh, this report details the symptoms that appear when the bacterium that grows inside of the E series infects a human. Be sure to read this document thoroughly before dealing with E series weaponized assets. Hold on, my head's like. There you go. Oh, it's the same shit. Uh, hereafter referred to as moat. Initial infection. The mold ingests nutrients from the subject's body to propagate itself and slowly takes over cells within the body. As a side effect of this, the infected subject gains remarkable regenerative, regenerative abilities. During experiments, we removed arms and legs from test subjects and found that they were able to co-opt the amputated limbs in a, in a matter of minutes. <laughs> ah. Middle stage infection. Once the mold reaches the brain, the subject's thoughts become in tune with those of the E-series assets. The subject starts to hear things and experience hallucinations and soon comes under complete control of the E-series asset. If this state continues, the host will lose all senses of ego. Complete infection. After every cell in the body has been taken over by the mold, and the subject begins to lose the human form. Physical mutations differ from case to case, but all results in him or her acquiring incredible physical strength. Containing a subject at this stage would be extremely difficult. I agree. So I know from experience. That is a supplement, only supplements. Five minutes, vomiting. Eat negatin, dosage test. 12 minutes, cell calcification. 10 minutes, death. So that's a thing. Target acquired. Wait. Oh, yeah. Um, destroy cells of... And there we go. e necrotoxin. What is this? Oh, God. This project was instigated in 2000 as one of several concepts of the company's Nexpus, Next Generation Experimental Battlefield Superiority Initiative. Working with technical assistance from the from HCF to develop a bioweapon for neutralizing combatants in MOS with a minimal direct contact. Nexpus was later folded and all its assets delivered di diverted to this project. What makes this project remarkably different from conventional weapons is its ability to turn enemy combatants into allies, converting hostile elements into winning servants. 
Since this effectively eliminates the cost of not only POW handling but also combat itself, it's no wonder we had the uh and even uh uh organization chomping at the bit to get on board. The project would never have existed were it's not for the discovery in oof of oof oof the remarkably progressed vicariant evolution fungus that we commonly term the mutamycete. The fabrication method for each bioweapon was to introduce the mutamycete genome to a pre-stage 4 human embryo and perform cultivation in a controlled environment over a period of 38 to 40 weeks. The resultant organisms were referred to as candidate specimens and graded based on usability from the impractical and faulty series A through D to the perfected E series. A common appearance was selected for the bioweapons, that of a roughly 10-year-old girl to ensure ease of blending in with urban refugee populations. The first E-series specimen, named Evelyn, has pro proven capable of secreting the mutamycetes uh, from her tissue at will. It is also of note that Evelyn's mutamycetes imposes a profound control over body and mind when introduced into a host, or host organism. We still have a lot to learn about the mechanism by which Evelyn achieves and maintains this control, but the working theory is that the vector is similar to the autoinducer pheromones used for quorum sensing in pseudomonas, pseudomonas, pseudomonas bacteria. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Evelyn's control is exerted in a series of discrete stages, the first of which is hallucination. Almost immediately, immediately after infection, the subject begins to see images of Evelyn, though she is not in fact there, and even hear her voice, which is inaudible to everyone else. Auditions with infected subjects throughout the stages of infection reveal that at first, the phantom Evelyn appears to be a normal young girl, sometimes desiring companionship or assistance. As time progresses, she begins making more and more extreme demands, including self-mutilation and attacks on other people. The psychological shock this induces helps to break down the mind's natural barriers to Evelyn's brainwashing effect, and by the time mental control is achieved, the mutamycetes infection has progressed th throughout the body cells, so the body's blah 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 blah. Okay, was there more in the back or no? We're done. A strong chem fluid. You see, now that I will take. So I'm gonna ingest this. Well, not ingest, but take it. I'm gonna. Where the hell is my hand supposed to be? Where's my hand? Where, why are you back there? Where's my hand? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I saw it for a second. There you go. That's where it is. Um, take you. Oh, did I already... Oh, I did. God damn it. Okay, whatever. That's fine. Is that strong again? No, that's regular. But yeah. Okay, so that's that. Shotgun shells. Thank you. Oh, more. Oh, God, there's more. Evidence functions also include the ability to form organisms from mycelia, the fungal filaments. The term organism is used loosely here. Strictly speaking, they are superorganisms formed of countless mycelia. What's important, though, is that they exhibit a strong survival instinct and will defend themselves ferociously, ferociously sorry, with the slightest provocation. Their fungal toughness and remarkable strength gives them significant battlefield potential. The researchers have been calling these superorganisms the molded, made of mold, and also molded as in shaped. The name has a certain elegance to it. For the treatment of accidental infections, performing blank on samples of Evelyn's body tissue produces a unique fungicidal serum. Administering the serum to an infected subject will cause the mycelia to calcify, but if the subject's cells are already largely invaded, the serum will be fatal. Since the treatment window is so small, the serum's primary use is therefore disposal, disposal of infected subjects rather than a cure. In exploring the serum's potential, we found that subjecting it to blank would enhance its effects to extreme potency, becoming a compound we now call e-necrotoxin, which is in even tiny amounts. What's been interesting to observe in Evelyn's behavior is her obsession with the concept of family. In experiments, we found on multiple occasions that infected subjects were compelled to act as her mother or father, treating her as if she were really their daughter. Why does she settle upon family as the theme for her mental control? This is just speculation, but it could be that she instinctively understands that a family unit is better suited to blending into social groups than a lone girl. On the, on, the, on the other hand, well, a sentimental source might suggest that she's making up for a perceived lack of love in her quarantined upbringing, a parent's love. Hmm. Maybe, but she's still a bitch. Uh, hang on them. I don't need it either way, so we're good. Okay. 
Oh, strong. Oh, well, there you go. That's actually what I was looking for. So I can actually have... We're going to put... Um, we're going to put... Do I have more herbs? Okay, no, I got to put one thing away. So there you go. With... Wait, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? I will not need that. I'd rather use gunpowder. There you go. That's more like it. That's thinking, oh, I have too much. Fuck. Whatever. Um, what am I doing? Oh. Yeah, so. I don't think there's any other reason to have anything here. Right? There's, no, there's nothing here, right? Well, I don't even know. I even have space, so I wouldn't know. But regardless. Machine gun ammo. Shoot. Burner field. Don't need it. And that's it. If I need anything else, I'll grab it on the way as I see it. But as of right now, we're good. Let me. You know what? I'll leave it. I really. I don't think I'm gonna be needing that many. Final save. Let's do this, guys. Let's finish this. Should have shot earlier. <laughs> Fuck. Come on, come on, just keep going. Go, go, go. Yeah, bitch. Fuck off. That was close, too. That was good. Good shot, Gio. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Gio. Okay, so... Cassette tapes. What is this? What is this? Machine gun ammo. Um... No, I'm good at machine gun ammo. Uh, strap. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. And then... There's the resting area. I don't need it. I don't know why there's a cassette tape here, but yeah. Okay, come on. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, bitch. I didn't trust it. Alright, come on. We're done. We're good. Okay. Now, the hard part. Oh, fuck! There's already one here? Shit. No, 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 no. That's not how this was supposed to go down. Ready for that. I used both my bombs. Shit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's fine, that's fine. This is still doable. That's fine. Fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Alright, come on. Oh, 
Oh my god. Shit, come on, no. Shit, I swear to God. Fuck you. Get a look, get a look, get a look. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy that first guy died as fast as he did. I don't know why the. I don't know why the. The taller guy died faster than the short guy. But whatever. They're dead. I did it. That's it. I'm, I'm good. Oh my god. That was nerve wrecking to the fucking max, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. Like, my goodness. I don't even know why I'm still doing loot here. I really don't need anything here. Yeah, I don't need that. But oh my god. That's a bomb. Oof. Two bombs. I'm happy I saw that because... Oh, three bombs! I'm happy I saw that. I would have been so pissed if I got all the way up there and I died. So pissed. Ooh, so pissed. Wait, that, that's the last one, right? I, I bet it better be. I swear to God. Please be. Please be. Please be. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay, we're good. Oh, man. Okay. Let's finish this for real. Come on. Let's, let's, let's finish it. Oh, shit. Do I even need to save? I mean, I'll save, but I don't, I don't really think I need to. This, this cutscene used to scare me every single time because it would always get, catch me off guard. So I'm glad I actually fucking remembered once. For once. Where is it? Oh, here we go. One last time. What? No, bitch, open. How's it my fault? Where am I? Okay, oh. Me. Camera angles. Where's the hole? I just realized. I mean, obviously healed, but still, like, there's a scar. There should be scar tissue. Again. Sure, they took my fucking hand off. <laughs> God damn it. And then maybe you'll play nicely. I'm not playing. No! Get that away from me! You done? That's what I thought. Evie. Alright, come on, let's finish this shit already. Evie!
Oh, hello, shotgun shells. And handgun ammo. Shotgun. And hand stacking them, hell yeah. Might as well. Oh shit, I'm running out of, uh, I'm running out of space. Oh, never mind, there you go. Is Redfield. I'm Redfield. Glad we found you. I'm Redfield. The fuck took you guys so long? Glad we found you. My, my voice is too bassy to try to mimic him. Another opens. Well, a door closed tonight. And what a long night it was. But not just for me. Me and I weren't the only victims here. So were the Bakers. It was that thing, Evelyn, who made them that way. But now Evelyn's dead. And these guys are here to clean up the mess. I had just come to terms with losing Mia. 
And now she's back and wants to start over. Put all this behind us. Maybe this is where the next door opens. Yay! I'm too lazy to wait for the credits. Next. Next. And there you go, everybody. How did I miss one? I mean, I was running around a lot, but how did I miss one? Um, that's Madhouse. I, di I died only five times? Really? I'm a god. That was Resident Evil 7 Biohazard on Madhouse difficulty. Did it in six hours, 13 minutes, and 39 seconds. Five restarts. I got all the toys. I got all the, the coins, surprisingly enough. I don't know what file I missed. What file could I have missed? I keep... I've, I've gotten 31 out of 32 multiple times now. Like, like VR-wise, multiple times. PlayStation-wise, like, on the actual console, I've always gotten it 32 out of 32. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Jesus, I've been it that many times. And then 2 and 4. Yeah. Infinite Ammo. Oh, yeah. Chris Redfield. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Shh. Okay. Well. That is the end of Resident Evil 7. I love this game. I don't know how many times it will it will have been since I've since I've beaten this game now. Like how many times I've beaten the game? This game is like Dark Souls. Well, it's not like Dark Souls. No, 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 hold on. Let me let me confirm something. I enjoy it as much I as I enjoy Dark Souls, but Dark Souls is different. I will play that game to the end of my days. But regardless, I enjoy this game a lot. This game is always fun to play, regardless of how many times you play it. At least in my perspective, and especially with the VR um, element added into it, it's just a lot nicer. It's a whole different point of view than you could ever find on on console. Like for instance, I never knew that the loading screen for this game was the RV. I'm pretty sure I said that already, but still, the RV, where it's your main like central hub in the in the middle of the game of the of the area, that's the freaking main menu. I ne I never. I mean, I'm kind of stupid, so I never connected that this right here, where you only see this in console is the inside of everything else. I don't look at this table that much. The only thing I look at this table is the freaking save table. That's about it. But yeah. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm, I'm, I got extra content I gotta do. I had to do it. I, I, got, I gotta at least try it out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. And yeah. Have a good day. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.